Hello, everybody. My name is Zicker Games, and welcome to Class of 09. I've seen clips of this going around on TikTok, and I am kind of in love with the characters that, not in a weird way, they are in high school. <laughs> I am not Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> even, listen, even if they are fictional, ages still matter to me. Um, but yeah, it's, I've seen uh, quite a few clips of this, and I've actually really enjoyed all the jokes that I've seen, and specifically because they're not really those jokes were like, well, that's not correct to say, that's actually a really bad word to say, so that's what makes it funny, because it's edgy. Most of the time, it's kind of either punching up or punching at weight, right, instead of punching down, uh, from what I've seen, and I think that, I thought that was really cool. Um, and then I also heard about the controversy that happened, and, excuse me. And uh, I know a little bit about that, and I looked at what it was, and I was like, that's kind of fucked up. Uh, that's, that's really fucked up, but then I kind of looked in deeper to it, I was like, okay, that's still fucked up, but I, okay, I, I kind of get it now, I guess. Um, but, yeah, uh, let's just see how good this is. It might be peak, it might be abysmal dog shit. Um, either way, this is going to be fun to record. <laughs> so let's get into it. Make no mistake, I'm a sociopath. God, that sounded evil. Let's rewind a little. I grew up all over coastal America. House after house after restraining order, everything just kind of blends in. If the divorce rate is 50-50, my mom landed on tails like eight times. So by the time I was 14, right, I moved from seven different houses and attended six different school districts. After a while, you don't see a point in making friends. The vitamin C graduation song? Yeah, I can't relate. But then one year, all of that almost changed. For the first time ever, I found myself in a school for two consecutive years, going on three. And then I like started turning pretty a month into high school, so the guys hitting on you social leverage was really awesome. The popular girls would talk to me all the time. They were just stupid. Like they'd always been pretty. Never left out. Never alone. And when I think about it, all the thinking I've ever done was when I was alone. I was nice about it and thought I'd always be nice about it. Finally in one place to build a steady reputation. And then life said, fuck that. My piece of shit gamer brother got us evicted for pirating breakbeat mixtapes. It's like not even good music. Anyway, so mom was crying, packing up the moving boxes. And that's when she told me we're moving out of state. And I just got settled. I said, fuck you, I'm living with dad. He's just a neighborhood down. I put the boxes down, go over, knock on the door, and boom, a gunshot. My second Christmas killed himself. I walked in, floor looked like a whole ass video game, just blood everywhere. And get this, his suicide note was stuck to the fridge with a cookie monster magnet. All he wrote on it, Nicole's fault. I'm Nicole, by the way, hi, what the fuck did I do to him? Maybe I missed the office softball game? Men are so into this revenge suicide thing. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. I'm moving, again, city, county, state, all the same fate. But I've always said that while leaving. This time, it's on arrival. Huh. That is interesting because... Hey, so for the senior prank this year, what if we like parked our cars where we don't usually park them? <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> yeah, math class this year with Mr. Burliday. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck Mr. Burliday, dude. <laughs> God, they are never funny. It's like the girls just laugh to avoid sexual assault. Probably. Hey, yo, you new to this educational prison? <laughs> wow, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I'm getting into, like, humor and stuff. <laughs> anyway, you know anyone around here? Know where your classes are? I mean, kinda. There's, like, numbers on the doors. I think I can figure it out. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around. Like, like a school tour? You want to do that? You up for that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, this is going to be a great time to actually talk about Nicole as a sociopath. Um, what it seems like is that she's not a, um, uh, what, what's the, what's the official term? Um, not, like a so, uh, a social something, um, disorder. 
it, it seems almost more almost kind of like a uh, like a defense mechanism because there are multiple different flavors of socio uh, sociopathy and also also psychopathy. Uh, sometimes sociopaths are good people. I mean, obviously, there's a stigma of you know they're all, they're stereotypically bad people. And it, uh, in the case with sociopathy, um, it is one of the few things where you can kind of be like, yeah, they're probably not going to be the best of people just due to the actions that they take and the way that they view the world almost as their own plaything. Uh, but that does not mean that they all are. A lot of them are high functioning and a lot of them are very good at, um, at doing the sociopath thing because – what they care about is not what others might care about in terms of power. It might just be kind of working situations and they enjoy that attention, but they always want it to be in positive and not through negativity like some other sociopaths and so on and so forth. Obviously, this is a very broad general overview, um, but so far from what I've seen from Nicole and specifically from some of the clips I've seen, uh, she does seem like, seem like a sociopath, but not in one of those ways where it's like hardwired into her, but more it's like a learned behavior. Um, as we've seen from the very beginning, and I'm sure you could do a complete deep dive into her psychology. Uh, decline, tell him, off, tell him off and cut glass. Cut class? Oh, I thought that said cut glass. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, so then my friend got the DLC, this downloadable content. It's like $10, like, dude, kind of not worth it for the gun. Why are you talking to me about video games? Just something, you know, uh, what, you don't like play video games or something? I'm a thin girl. Do I fucking look like I play video games? <laughs> I'd rather play dead at a necrophilia convention. Oh, well, yeah, you know. I know what? Did, did you hear about how Mountain Dew makes guys sterile? Yeah, from you and every other guy who reads the internet to try to be interesting. Ha, ah, nice rolly backpack, you hey. fucking four-eyed, double-dick-sucking bitch. Hey, stop kicking it! <laughs> this backpack holds priceless reading materials! <laughs> oh, yeah? Like what? The Bernstein Bears make eye contact? Hey, what is this, fourth grade? It is home to some of my favorite manga books. Manga? What is it, like Asian or something? Japanese, thank you. Some of which go on to be very popular television shows. Wait, can't you watch half those on cartoon channels? Why the hell would you read it? Oh, uh, that's it. Dude, how do you care about anything this much? W what do you mean? Like, okay, he thinks your Chinese cartoon books are stupid. Why defend it? Stay out of this, you... you girl. <laughs> Double down on the verbal abuse. Watch him get beat up. Hmm. Uh, fuck Nicole for saying it's Chinese, but, uh, hmm. I kind of also want to fuck, uh, Jeffrey here. I mean, maybe if you did, maybe that would, that's all, like, all of his problems. <laughs> maybe you peg him or some shit. What the fuck, you greasy bitch? I was trying to help you. I don't need help from someone who misnationalizes my Japanese manga books. Japanese manga books? That's literally you. That's what you sound like. Yeah, first time you talk to a girl and you correct her on the origin of your backwards picture books. They're not backwards. They just read right to left. No one cares. I, I care. care. And the YouTube anime community cares too. Like, Naru Party 13 he's got 1,600 subscribers. Do you have that many? Why would you upload videos to YouTube? How else do you think videos get there? It's for watching TV shows. You don't fucking participate in it. What, am I going to go on YouTube and get digitally molested? No, it... <laughs> You're going to transform? Whatever, everything's fine. My mom said the bullies go nowhere and smart kids like me become notable adults. The most notable thing you could do is killing yourself before graduation. Then your dad can cry in front of school assemblies next to a black and white photo of you. What? <laughs> no, little bitch. Whoa, I'm straight. <laughs> so hey, you're like pretty cool. What's your name? Well, my last name's Yu. Most people just call me that. Yu? What is it like Asian? That's hot. Yeah, Grandma had yellow fever. Cool. Yeah. So what's your first name? Fuck. <laughs> oh, you look new. The lunch line's on the other end there. Huh? You're trying to find where the lunch line starts, right? 
You got here a little late, so it's pretty long now. Oh, fuck, for a sec I thought everyone else was skipping too. Where'd you come in from? Like, just outside? There was this weird kid getting his shit handed to him. Like, weird how? I don't fucking know. Is he like, talks about a bunch of dumb shit weird? Or like, how can he afford someone to add her all with a job at the shop and say weird? Um, first one. Oh, glasses, bull cut, that's Jeffrey. I don't think he's all there, like, he's too socially awkward for the normal people, but too smart for the special eddies. Can I sit here? Yeah, sure. All my friends got put in a different lunch period. What's your name? I'm Nicole. I'm Jekka. Jekka? That's like, on your birth certificate? Short for Jessica, Avi. That's pretty punk for someone who dresses... so... Preppy? Yeah, my mom works corporate for department stores, so I get all this expensive stuff for free, but trust me, I don't give a fuck. Cool, yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, Nicole, punk on. You ready for day two? Is someone gonna kill me day two? If so, absolutely. Why? What happened? Just like waking up in general hurts. And I gotta deal with my brother who's still up from the night before eating a family box of anything. He can eat family sized meals? How old is he? Like 26. He just freeloads off my mom. I mean, we kind of freeload too, but we're 16. It's cool when we do it. Exactly. I have to tell him that when I'm woken up by loud chewing noises. Is he fat? Do you know what ex-bodybuilder fat is? Yeah, I kind of know what that looks like. Well, he's an obese monster. I was just curious if anyone else knew that bodybuilder phrase. He's not I fat. do. Good to know. Uh -huh. Hey, let's gossip more Yeah, I was, I was about to say that, that, that he doesn't Dude, really look class, like that. Just skip with me. I told you yesterday, if I skip anymore, my mom's going to start giving me disciplinary tattoos. How does that even work? What does she write on you? It'd be some weird shit, like, I love school on my fingers. Isn't that, like, abusive? She's the only mom I've ever had. How the fuck should I know? <laughs> huh. So where are you headed? Uh, gym class being molested by the gym teacher. Look, it's the first day. No funny guys, no comedians, no bringers of the haha, -ha, okay? This... Okay, good. I can I can pause it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. So far, I really like those two. Um, fuck Jeffrey. He's wearing a Super Mario shirt. He's probably the type to wear a fucking uh, <laughs> Legend of Zelda Triforce bright green fucking shirt and uh, khaki colored <laughs> cargo shorts and play the Nintendo Switch in the fucking lunchroom. Uh, but also, a thousand subscribers in YouTube in 2007? That's fucking nuts. That's nuts. That's back in the day where it was impressive to have 10K. That's nuts. Um, and also, like, everybody also watched shit. Like, everyone saw Chocolate Rain. But, like, when you go back and you, like, look at Chocolate Rain, the original one, it's only at, like, like a few years ago. It's, it's obviously gone up since then. But, like, whenever you would go back and watch it, it was only at like maybe a quarter of a million views or some shit, which was a lot. But back then, it was only, social media was only just taking off, so everyone was like, "Oh my god, this guy with the deep voice is singing a song about shit." <laughs> um, yeah, these guys are assholes, uh, but they're kind of endearing about it. This year's gym class isn't last year's gym class. We're gonna really buckle down on physical fitness. I'm fit as fuck. I ain't buckling shit. <laughs> <laughs> Young lady, what's your name? Nicole. You want my phone number too? <laughs> this is only the first class, Nicole. You won't be a problem all year, will you? No, sorry. Good. Now everybody better dress out every class. If you don't, it's a zero. Hit the locker rooms. I'll see you back here in ten. Why? <sighs> Why the fuck? Okay, dressing out is one of the stupidest fucking things, especially when the teacher is like, I've had the teacher before. I've had multiple teachers like that where they're like, if you don't dress out, you get a zero today or it's half your points. Fuck you. I'm not stripping down and from a bunch of other people. Uh, I am. I'm not. <laughs> Look, back when I was in middle school, um. I was so, like, skinny that uh, I once took off my shirt and everybody thought I had abs. But it was just that I was very skinny. 
<laughs> and was kind of athletic. So it, that of course your abdominal muscles are gonna show up. You got nothing fucking on you. Um, also, look at that guy in the background. Oh, you can't see him. Uh, but yeah, it's it's so weird. Like, what do you want to fucking do? Watch us get dressed? Why does it matter? We're not gonna we're not going to the fucking gym constantly. What's the etiquette that you're teaching us about dressing out? Not to be sweaty? Oh, fucking okay. Make us wear deodorant. <laughs> Fine. Dress out. Where the hell did I put the shirt? Why does it even need the school logo? I'll just bring my own shitty shirts. Having trouble, Nicole? Um, can you... You can't be in here. Saw you were lagging behind. I thought you might need a spare shirt. Oh, thanks. Stop looking. Now, please. You know something? You're feisty. I like that in my female students. I got a feeling you like something else in your female students, too. See, you just snap back like that. I like it. It's sexy. You are saying this to a 16-year-old in the girls' locker room. Come on. What's age? Look at you. You're mature enough. <laughs> okay, uh, my my choices that I'm going to be picking are what I would do in these situations. Um, I would probably humor the pedophile. Uh, oh, God, that reminds me when I was in... Oh, fuck. I hate sometimes how, like, memories are, like... Uh, like suddenly like re-switched in my mind because there are entire there are entire periods of my life that are just blank to me like most of high school um it's kind of like a blank period to me um and then like uh like time during covid that was like a blank history to me too because like i just don't remember any of it and i've like i've talked to people like people will talk to me about it and like oh do you remember when we did this I'm like we did that what the fuck are you talking about um I guess it's one of those things where it's like you only remember what you care about, uh, but then there's also the random ADHD shit where like it just kind of snaps back in your mind, um, whether that's convenient or not. Uh, oh. But yeah, I've had I've I've had experience with pedophiles. <sighs> I was a very short, frail boy. No wonder they liked me. Um, yeah, I stood at like. For like a long time, I stood at at below five foot for middle school, and then uh, in uh, I would say beginning of high school, I was five seven five eight, and now I'm I'm over like uh, what was the last time the doctor said I was like a uh, fucking half an inch under six foot or not six foot six two so six one and seven fucking fifth whatever the fuck if you want to be as semantic as possible that that's 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 that whatever uh. i guess yeah so what's up just wanted to chat with a pretty girl about? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I just like looking at you. Why do girls say they like older men? You're just as boring as younger men. I could show you a fun time a lot of these high school boys couldn't. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I'll prove it, too. Hang up by the back entrance, and I'll pick you up after school. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Hmm. Date your gym teacher. Get sexually harassed by someone your own age. Fuck. I like how self-aware it is. That's... It's some really good writing. It'd be a shame if the, uh, if the creator actually turned out to be someone that is what the game is warning you about. Sure, fuck it, why not seal his wallet? You have money to spend on me, right? Like at least a couple hundred? Oh, I got more than a couple hundred. Like 370. 
Shit, I'm just a kid. That's a lot for me. Let's do it. Sounds like a date, Sexy. Can I call you Sexy? I mean, the news would call me a victim, but what do they know, right? Anyway, I'll see you tonight, man. Nicole, Nicole, could you call me Coach? See you tonight, Coach. <laughs> so, uh, how's your drink so far? My non-alcoholic Sprite is just wonderful. This day kind of sucks so far. Could you get me high? Oh, whoop. Or something? You want a sip of my screwdriver? Sure, thanks. Can I have some more? Some more? Sure, how many? How many sips would equal four glasses? I can't have you stumbling out of here wasted. People would start suspecting something. I'm one-third your age. That ship's sail, coach. I know, it's such a rush. You feeling it too? <laughs> um, sure. So can I have money? Not so fast, sexy. I was thinking you could come back to my place to collect. Okay. Fuck. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, man. Go back to his place, steal his wallet, crawl out the back, run home. Uh... Walk home, probably, I don't fucking know, hitchhike. And then give the wallet to the principal and get him expelled. Mm, fuck. <sighs> but Nicole wants money. You know, the thing is, he's probably, like, scheming. He's not stupid. He knows what he's doing. He knows he's manipulating a little girl. Also, she does talk like a 16-year-old, but also, this is going to sound horrible, but she also does act way more mature than what a 16-year-old would be, and that's obviously because this is a game, so it has to be more entertaining than a fucking awkward 16-year-old girl that doesn't really have as much life experience as <laughs> the, the way that she speaks would, but then again, you know, 16 different schools, whatever. Okay, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, coach, I'm down. Good girl. Just so you know, you're gonna have to earn it. Do whatever you want. The money outweighs the trauma. Come on, sexy. Let's get out of here. After you, coach. <laughs> Fuck, I don't- I hope this doesn't turn out as a bad ending. I came to this new school with the full intention of fucking around. Life was hopeless, so sleeping with my gym teacher was just a drop in the bucket. You could say the major mistake was going home with a stranger, but honestly, most strangers are fine as long as they're not into necrophilia. The second I stepped in, he locked the door behind us, grabbing my neck and squeezing really fucking tight. The last thing I remember was the rush in his eyes while the laugh <laughs> slipped from mine. I didn't know her that well, but tell Jekka she's cool for me. As for my family, they can fuck off and burn in hell with me. After you, coach. I came to this new school with a f after you, after, 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 after <laughs> you, coach. <laughs> I came to this new school with a full Oh, what the fuck is going on? on? Oh, fuck. Life was hopeless, so sleeping with my Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, I think that's gonna be the end of this video. Um, hold on. His eyes while the life slipped from mine. I didn't know her that well, but tell Jekka she's cool for me. As for my family, they can fuck off and burn in hell with me. See you soon, Dad. Okay. Um, we're gonna end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. Uh. If you want to support this game, I know there's a controversy going on and everything like that. Uh, so if you want to, you can go find it yourself. Um, usually I don't say that whenever there's... Uh, but you, but whenever a game uh, has a lot of shit going on, I, I don't really feel too good about endorsing it before uh, a lot of more information comes out and everything. 
just to play it safe. Um, so, you know where to find it. Um, <laughs> I had my own ways of acquiring this game. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I, I'm enjoying this so far. Uh, next episode will be me trying to uh, not die and do better decisions than that. Um, so, uh, yeah. But yeah, let's see how many endings we can get. So, yeah, if you enjoyed, I have a Patreon down below. Uh, as well as $2 a month, $2.99 a month, uh, and as well as a one-time donation. Uh, any amount will do. It really, really does go a fucking long way. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Rest in peace, Nicole.